What we've seen is we have a super bright guy who's very confident, proactive. He wants to, to get something out of his time here as well. Hi, my name is Sean. Um, I'm studying engineering science at the University of Oxford and, and I've got my internship with MoneyGram Haas F1 team. For this scholarship, I, I mainly wanted to get um, some engineering experience because I didn't know what working in a proper engineering co company would be like um, and find out what research would be like as well because I'm interested in pursuing that as a career. I think scholarships are important today um, to highlight talent and to also help people in less fortunate situations to be able to be on the same place playing field as other people. Um, not everybody comes in with the same opportunities so um, being able to scout people out who um, can succeed if given the chance is a really good contribution. So my first week was really just getting used to things. Um, I met everyone in the R&D department, they were really nice. Um, I got shown a couple of techniques like dye pen testing um, and a couple of the rigs they've got. And I was introduced to my project, which was automating um, the calibration of the tea tray testing. But everybody's just been really friendly, uh, really welcoming. Dom in particular, he's um, taken me under his wing and has been um, very forward. We're just asking if I've got stuff to do, um, what I'm interested and making sure I can get the most out of my placement as possible. During Sean's time with us, um, so he came into our department first. Uh, he'd indicate that he was interested in research and development, so this was his sort of natural place to come. Um, we gave him his first project within the team, uh, within, and it was to help us in this department. So his main role when he first came to the team, we sort of wanted to give him a bit of everything. We didn't know too much about him. Um, we knew his interest in engineering, but we didn't know exactly which bit. So we tried to give him a nice rounded project to help with some of our testing equipment here. So there was a bit of design work in it. Uh, there was a bit of electronics work in it, and then also a bit of um, integration with some systems. So the idea was to automize one of our quite manual test processes now, um, putting some sensors on it and logging the data. In the second part of my internship, I've been in vehicle sciences, um, and I've been looking at a powertrain model in MATLAB, and that's been very interesting seeing some of the more modeling that goes behind the car. Uh, and that's has been really accommodating as well. Um, he helped introduce me to my project, and. Um, He's been available for advice whenever I need to ask him anything, yeah. Over the two, three weeks period, uh, he stayed with us, we discussed, you know, what were his interests uh, and uh, he is very keen in understanding as much as possible about vehicle modeling. Uh, so uh, after a bit of a debate, we thought that it was uh, good for him to um, simulate in open loop a black box model that we received from our engine supplier. Uh, this exercise, we thought it would have been very good for him to learn MATLAB, Simulink, uh, but also understand how uh, modern uh, F1 powertrains work and at the same time potentially help us with the modeling of our powertrain, uh, which uh, because the black box model we gave him is not suited for our uh, simulation tools at the moment. I think my favorite part of this experience has just been being able to see behind the scenes because you see the races on TV and everything um, and what the sport is like and seeing all the engineering and thought that goes behind that and how everybody interacts to build this whole system together because the company is not even just engineers, you've got marketing, logistics, buyers as well. Um, so seeing how it all comes together has been really interesting. Yeah, he's very polite, he's a very good listener and showed uh, goodwill to learn. Uh, and this, I think, I personally think a very good attitude because F F1, the working environment of F1 is characterized by big egos which uh, clash uh, very often. And I think that a soft approach, um, you know, a well-mannered approach could be winning one in, in the long term. What, what I appreciated about him is that uh, he's um, cracked on with the job, uh, did it all by himself, and only when he got stuck, he came back to us, to me, with prepared questions. And, you know, this shows good attitude, uh, a good way forward, you know, to approach any engineering problem in general. Having a scholar like Sean has been really good. and. I think there was a bit of concern maybe on how much like help or supervision he might have needed when he's new, you know, it's the first time being in industry. But actually what you what we've seen is we have a super bright guy who's very confident, proactive. He wants to to get something out of his time here as well. So that hasn't been the case at all. And you know, once you sort of get that concern out of the way, there's loads of stuff we can do. We're always super busy. We always have too much work on for the amount of people that we have. And you know, you have these super bright, talented 
keen, enthusiastic people, we should definitely should do more. And I think because um, we're kind of unique as an organisation that we do a lot of things from the very beginning of the design of the car, albeit not in this factory here, but to the, to the final running of the car, there's very few organisations where you see that amount of breadth. So we can offer a lot to people. I've met some really interesting people and I've lot, a lot, learned a lot about what it's like to work in an engineering company. Um, so I'm definitely going to use the information to um, inform where I want to go in the future. I would say two things. First of all, first of all keep your ears open. Um, just be open to any connections around you because it's those little connections that you get from like talking to people, wherever your classmates, your teachers and stuff that can lead to opportunities. And the second thing would just be be really proactive. Like um, nobody is going to give you your positions or make your career for you. So you need to be forward and put yourself forward to get those opportunities.